Gary Neville tore into Chelsea during their 4-1 humiliation away to Manchester United. Frank Lampard's side were emphatically put to the sword of Red Devils who barely got out of second gear the whole contest. Their woes this Premier League season were summed up when £89 million January signing Michaelo Mudrick scuffed a wonderful chance wide from seven yards and then watched Casemiro head home United's opening goal moments later. Anthony Marshall finished off a free-flowing team move on the stroke of halftime to double their advantage, before Bruno Fernandes and Marcus Rashford made the scoreline more embarrassing for the West Londoners. While Joao Felix did score an impressive consolation goal, it did little to raise Chelsea spirits. And after another abject display, Neville left nothing back. Following Rashford's goal, the former United captain branded the Chelsea players as a shambles and as rudderless. He then damningly blasted the Blues as being utterly depressing this last part of the season. Chelsea could potentially drop all the way down to 14th if they lose to Newcastle at Stamford Bridge and other results go against them. They will fall into 13th position if the Magpies overcome them and Wolves overcome a wounded Arsenal side who are no longer in the title race. Fierce London rivals West Ham United will also have a puncher's chance of finishing above them if they convincingly beat relegation-threatened Leicester City in their final match. Chelsea are three points clear of the Hammers and have a marginally better goal difference. But if they lose by one goal to Newcastle and David Moyes' side win by three goals, then they will leapfrog the West Londoners. It has been a campaign to forget for Chelsea fans and a disastrous first season for the ownership of Todd Bowley and Bedad Igbali. Not only have the Blues recorded a trophyless campaign that will finish in the bottom half of the table, they have also sacked two managers in Thomas Tuchel and Graham Potter and spent around £600 million on players who have largely underperformed. It appears Mauricio Pochettino will be in the dugout next season but the former Tottenham Hotspur boss is yet to be officially announced.